normal girl. <laughs> That's a bit excessive. See that? Now that's impressive. My mother was in Empire City. She would have starved to death without your help. Such a good man. I shared my food. Some of it. 
Where's my kiss? The world mourns the tragedy of Empire City, and its loss continues to be felt. As a major economic center, the city's destruction has had a destabilizing effect on the nation's economy and on world markets as well. Shipments of foreign oil have been delayed. The center of U.S. commerce, the Empire Stock Exchange, is gone, costing untold trillions. England, France, and Germany, while claiming to support the United States in this troubling time, have all suspended travel to our shores until more information on the Empire threat comes to light. Despite the global economic crisis, one corporation continues to show a profit. Vermark 88, the South Africa-based security company, has announced today that it's become the largest private military contractor in the world. Vermark expanded its operations 43% in the last five years due to lucrative government contracts with the U.S. during the war in Iraq. Those militia sinners are having a party at the cathedral, defacing an important landmark. Would you please clear them out? I really admire you.
Right here. Ah, nothing but Bertrand propaganda. Whew, that's crap. Let's show these folks some real entertainment. Disable a few TV dishes around there, and I should be able to hack the feed. Gonna miss it. Great. Get closer to the screen so you can watch me work my magic. Wow. Almost got it. Just a few more wires. Press play. We are live. entertainment. The devastation continues in the eastern U.S., leaving thousands dead and many hundreds of thousands homeless. Whole towns are disappearing in a matter of hours as the mysterious menace responsible for the Empire event continues moving southward. While Washington, D.C. has escaped the empire phenomenon, the threat of civic unrest is on the rise. Today, an angry sea of protesters gathered on the west lawn of the Capitol building, demanding food, jobs, and political change. Over 30% of the American workforce is now unemployed, and food shortages have led to nationwide turmoil. The rally was held just as a special Senate committee began deliberating over the impeachment trial of President Navarro. Charges of perjury and obstruction of justice were brought against the president following a controversial investigation into the Empire City quarantine.